Hi guys. In this video, I'll show you how to configure your cPanel server to minimize email spam abuse. We will go through some common mail settings in the tweak settings section, as well as XM, which is used for outgoing mail. To get started, let's log into our server as root. Firstly, we are going to change some settings in the Tweak Settings section of WHM. To access the Tweak Settings, type Tweak in the search bar, then click on Tweak Settings. There are many settings in this section, so I won't be able to cover all of them in this video. I recommend that you go through all of them when you have some time, as it is good to know what each option is for. In this video, we will only cover the Mail tab, so let's click on Mail. There are a couple of important settings under the Mail tab to minimize email spam abuse on your server. The first setting is the initial default catch-all forwarder destination. We don't want a catch-all account on our server. In other words, we only want mail to be delivered if a valid email account exists. By changing the setting to Fail, all mail sent to non-existent email accounts will fail. Next is the max hourly emails per domain setting. If you left this setting on unlimited and one of the accounts on your server was compromised, the malicious software would be able to send out thousands of spam emails via your server, which will most likely result in your server IP getting blacklisted. I recommend a setting of between 200 and 500. Next we will set the maximum percentage of failed or deferred messages a domain may send per hour. Say the same account on your server is compromised and the malicious software is sending out spam. Many of the recipient addresses will be invalid. This setting will check the total number of emails in that batch then block further sending if the percentage of email failures selected here is reached. For example, if the malicious software sent out 100 emails and you have the setting on 10%, the batch will be blocked from sending if 10 of the emails are returned as failed or deferred. For this demonstration, let's set the setting to 15%. The number of failed or deferred messages a domain may send before protections can be triggered setting also needs to be set. If the malicious batch mentioned reaches this number and the above percentage is also reached, the domain will temporarily be blocked from sending out further email. We can set this for to 20 for this demonstration. It is important to remember that there is no one size fits all for the last three settings. You need to set these according to your own requirements. One of your hosting features might be that your users are allowed to send out more emails per hour. In that case, you can simply increase the setting as required. Next, there are two important settings to enable. The first is to restrict outgoing mail to root, exim and mailman. The second is to enable the prevent nobody from sending email setting. Malicious scripts will in many cases try and send mail as a nobody user. Enabling this restriction will prevent scripts from using the nobody user. With these five simple settings, you will already reduce email spam on your server. We will leave everything else as is for now. Click Save to save your settings. We will now proceed to the XM configuration. XM is the outgoing email service on cPanel servers. Type, type XM in the search bar and click XM Configuration Manager. In this tutorial, 
it will only work with a basic editor. Again, I recommend that you go through all of these settings when you have some time to familiarize yourself with the various options available. Let's click on the ACL Options tab. Spam Assassin will be installed by default to filter spam email on your server. We want to ensure that outgoing spam is also filtered. To achieve this, let's set the reject spam score threshold to 5. Spam Assassin will now use this score to check and flag outgoing mail as spam. Let's move on to the security tab. We want to ensure that outgoing mail is malware free, so enable the scan outgoing messages for malware option. Note that Clam Antivirus has to be installed for this option. We covered the installation of Clam Antivirus in my previous video or part 3 of this series. Finally, click on the Apache Spam Assassin Options tab. We want to ensure that Spam Assassin is always on for all accounts on the server, so let's enable the Apache Spam Assassin Force Global On option. We also want to enable the Scan Outgoing Messages for Spam and reject based on the Apache Spam Assassin Internal Spam Score setting. Spam Assassin will now check each mail and stop it from being delivered if the spam score is greater than or equal to 5. It will look at the spam score that we set under the ACL Options tab. We now click Save to save our settings after which the XM service will restart. We are now done with our basic spam prevention settings. Remember, we only covered the basic settings to minimize abuse. There are still many settings that you can do, for example RBL lists, advanced configuration, filters and so on. It is always good to get a specialist involved or do some more research on how to best protect your server against spam. In my next video, I will show you some more advanced cPanel server security, including the installation of a firewall, malware scanner and other steps like preventing direct root login. Please subscribe to my channel to be notified once I release future videos.